You know how long I run out? The only thing to make me come out for a vid blog, a vid blog, is in defense of my country. I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. I am a Trinbaconian. Trinidad and Tobago is my home. So to the entire Trinidad and Tobagonian diaspora, I salute you and say good evening. Good morning. Good night. Yow. Hey. Hey. Look me. There's no need for me. You could just do a live. Why I need to do vid blogs? Everybody pricey when you're doing a vid blog, when you're doing a vid blog. So here it is. The vid blog that I didn't want to do. I'm sitting on the live last week Sunday. Seven days ago. And someone in the comments asks me, what do I think about Miss Wool, Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Wool representative 2021 or whatever. And I say, well, what I think about what her statements and what she said. I say, well, me, you know what she said. I'm not always or current, you know. I'm not always up to speed when I off grid or off grid. Then they started to say, different people started to say what she said. I said, well, let's send that clip for me, send that clip for me. Because I didn't believe what I was hearing, I didn't believe what I was reading. When I finally heard it and saw it, every pore in my body was raised. Every aspect of my being screamed. Screamed. And from last Sunday to now, it's been parodied and replayed over and over. Janine Brandt. Janine Brandt. For those of you who do not, and if you're living under a rock, and you do not know what I am speaking of, this is it. This is the speech. Hi everyone. Hola a todo. In my country, thousands of children live in poverty. Little girls sleep on the cold ground in makeshift homes. They have no access to running water, electricity. They cannot attend school. They have no access to healthcare, and they don't even know where their next meal is coming from. No child deserves to grow up living under these conditions. And I believe with the COVID-19 pandemic, it's drastically incre increased sorry, the amount of poverty in the world today. I believe this is the biggest problem that we are facing right now. I formed the Brand Beauty Foundation to break the cycle of poverty among these families and these little girls and to give them opportunities to realize their dreams. There's so many issues that we are facing right now. And I decided to embark on several projects throughout my country because there's no one solution to these problems. I conducted several, um, several empowerment sessions with girls to teach them vocational skills. I built a home for a family of seven to create a safe environment for them she to live in. I distributed thousands of sanitary napkins to women and girls Jesus. throughout my country because I believe, yes, we were giving out food hampers, but no one was thinking of feminine hygiene. I was able to establish a hydroponic system to create food sustainability and an income for over 100 families. And I was able to provide a solar panel to a family in desperate need of electricity. I, 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 I. let me start again. I, 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 because they cut it, she was going on too long. I, 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 and on the third day she rose again. Right? We dealing with clearly. Supernatural forces here. Let me start again. Janine Brandt. Janine Brandt. My issue is not Janine Brandt. My issue are the people who support her statements. And I also take umbrage with the people who put her in that position. Because I don't know when that pageant took place and she won. So I don't know who is Miss World, Trinidad and Tobago, first runner up. 
I don't know who came second. I don't know who came third. I don't know who came fifth. And I didn't know. I don't know who come eighth. I know she win. I don't know where the pageant keep. The accent alone. She ain't buy that by Hyundai. She went convent. Because the nuns. Let me blame the nuns for this assness. This pure jackassery. You want to sound proper. No problem. But that sort of entitled tone and innuendo. We associate it with a convent accent. You know we call it a convent accent. When you went to a St. Joseph convent, you understand? A holy name. That sort of accent we associated with the convent because you know it's a, one of privilege. And that is exactly what is taking place here. You recognize I say here. That is exact privilege, red woman fucking privilege. Let me put it down to brass tacks. That you will go and sit down and lie. I don't care what nobody say. This video is for those that supporting her in her statements she issued an apology that now cannot be found on the miss world page i don't know where it gone maybe it's my phone but if they can find that apology send it for me please if you issue an apology that mean you know your ass was wrong i want to know these thousands of young girls that are sleeping on the floor and have no access to health care in a country where health care is free I understand everywhere in the world, and Trinidad is no different, there is poverty. But to make we feel, or to make me feel, because I, I take it as personal, so let me keep it in the first person. To make me feel that it better off, or Trinidad worse off than anywhere else in the world. Something wrong with your statements. You are not aware of a lot of things, the people that support in you. Because it has some people get on the people and them radio sp spouting assness as well. And we cannot match dunce and arrogance. They will always beat you with experience. Healthcare in Trinidad and Tobago is free. If you choose to go private, you choose to spend your money. But nationwide, healthcare is taxed you are taxed as a public servant or even a private servant it comes up on your pay slip if you're getting a pay slip check your pay slip your health surcharge that tax goes towards paying our hospitals which are free we have a whole hospital dedicated down in mount hope there the mount hope children's hospital Another children's hospital was built in Coover, as yet unused by children or for children because it has become a COVID center, COVID-19 center. Let me tell you something. Eh? Certain people were aware of certain parts of this country due to COVID-19, you know, because when all them pseudo white people in Marval, you understand? Had to get the AstraZeneca and the Pfizer or the COVID-19 vaccinations. They got into Maxis and found themselves in Mayaro Health Center, Movo Health Center, Baratulaya Health Center for free. For free to get the vaccination shots. Suddenly, you couldn't get it private. So the white people were standing in the savannah, the Queen's Park savannah, in the hot sun, under tents for free to get their vaccination. You hear me? Babies born in this country by Venezuelan women are born for free. Dental care, free. I have partners with money to still go, same Mount Hope, to get their teeth clean. So as I say, if you are not aware that healthcare is free and all your vaccinations are free, let me get into the fact that vaccinations, um, certain vaccinations like yellow fever and all of that was mandatory long time. Once a child born, you have to give it yellow fever, measles and smallpox vaccination. But a lot of people have an issue with the vaccination, but this is not about vaccination. Well, I ain't even getting a vid blog about that because it's too much fuckery for me to spew 
in one go. I want to deal with the people that are giving this girl gas and making others feel that what she speaks here is the truth. Lie, 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 lie. Where in this country, unless you go deep rural, there is no access to water. If you have, you see people don't understand English. And I get an emotional and passionate about what I'm coming with. If you have a pipe in your home, you have access to water. It might not have water in the pipe, but you have access to water. If you are not aware that with, with, once you live within one mile of a standpipe, Wasa could come and take your house for unpaid bills because you have access to water. So the word access, a-C-C-E-S-S. -S. All you ain't know what it means. Right? Access and availability is two different things. But in Port of Spain and environs, everyone has access to water. If you don't have access to water, how the hell are you buying KFC? How are you buying fried chicken, the national food of this country? How are you buying it? Because to get inside any fast food restaurant, there's a sink outside with running water to wash your hands. I see vagrants bathing in the sink in Port of Spain. Several groceries, if not all, all prominent groceries have big sinks, white sinks. A vexer never bring in sink. We should invest in sink. With water to wash your hands and sanitize for entry with masks. So please tell me about this no access to water. So you went down Icacos or wherever with the, in, with the Venezuelan refugee um, camps. In that forum, it was uncalled for because all that missing is the monkey on the fucking hut and the flies on which you're in face. You try to make me seem like, well, you will leave a fuck for Venezuela to say. Eh? You see the condition of Venezuelans and how much Venezuelans in Trinidad? Why you felt the need to get on an international platform to spew that level of assness? Just tell me. Because Wendy didn't need to do it. Wendy didn't need to do it. Giselle around West, who won Miss World, definitely didn't need to do it. And Janelle Penica, Miss Young, oh God, didn't need to do it. Nicole Dyer Griffith. Didn't need to do it. Let me start a name Queens. In my country, and as I say, Janine Brad, my issue is not you. My issue is the people that supporting you and saying that she told no lies and people grew up in poverty. Yes, you grew up in poverty, but at some point, my friends, your hard work pays off. And in this country, it is a land of opportunity. Everywhere you go is who you know. And what you know, all animals are created equal and some are more equal than others. These days, that's one of my, that's one of my most favorite statements. I read Animal Farm, a book by George Orwell, when I was going to school. And my grandmother told me, read that book every 10 years. And during the pandemic, the first set of lockdown, I pick up Animal Farm and it hit me again, Napoleon and the pigs. All animals are created equal and some are more equal than others. That is true for everywhere in the world. But you make yourself, you make yourself and the choices that you make. Do not paint my country, my beautiful country, where politicians have raped and pillaged and stolen and bribed and looted our treasury for years the other day the beatam residents were protesting and the people that living on the beatam poor souls some of them don't even know the history of beatam so today i'm sending you because i'll be back with another vid blog today i'm sending you for your homework go and google the name johnny o'halloran beatam was never supposed to be a settlement or a house well a housing settlement it was never supposed to be a residential area never that was not the intention 
You shocked, eh? Right. Back to Janine Brandt and her supporters. Stop all your assness for me, please. When you talk about education in this country, it is free. If you choose to send your child to a learning facility or a learning institution privately and pay that money, go ahead. Right? Some children need extra help. Some children, you don't want them mingling with others. But trust me, we have one of the best educational systems in the world. Trini scholars, let us remember that the founding father of this country, the man who founded the PNM, the first prime minister, Eric Eustace Williams, was known as one of the greatest intellectuals in the world. And when they were doing the time capsule for space to put on the space shuttle, they asked certain people for snippets and sound bites. One of them was Queen Elizabeth, who refuses to die, and Eric Eustace Williams, our Prime Minister. He was viewed as a global intellect. He came out of our school system and went to school right there in Port of Spain at Queen's Royal College, QRC. So I don't understand how you could safely say that children don't have access, they can't go to school. Why they can't go to school? Because we're in a pandemic and most children are home and they don't have access to proper devices to get them online or Wi-Fi. That happening all over the world. Miss bitch, that happening all over the world. And don't tell me you ain't here for the name calling because I now start. I want to see you somewhere. And whoever sent your ass up there. And now they're talking about, oh, congratulations, she's made it to the final 40. Me, I care she fucking win. She's not representing here. I also know, and very good friends with a Jamaican, a Jamaican who is living in Trinidad who has kidney and, and liver issues and is living in Trinidad because she has access to free dialysis every week. She ain't going back to Jamaica. And that's not because they don't eat pussy over there. In the same breath, I could say, Denise Belfort, big up you. One time, let me just throw in that. What you waiting? Put your back in it. Yes, Denise. Get your flowers. Back to Madame Brandt. When certain people support certain ideas, we must ask ourselves what they have to gain. Because people don't do anything just so. What am I doing this for? Why are they doing this? What do they have to gain? They're looking for fame? They want a name to call? Ah? So you are supporting dance and arrogance. Because... It's song and good. Going against the grain because the average Trinidadian knows that it's shit. And you can't do nothing with shit except wash it off. You can't do nothing with shit. So, while you're spewing this effluence, and the others that are there, but she a lie, she a lie, or she a cunt. That one, my friends, is a lie. In this country, in my country of Trinidad and Tobago, there is free health care. The health care system needs to be worked on, as in every other country. But it is still free. You have an option. In my country, teachers work tirelessly, tirelessly to ensure that children get the best education possible as in all or most countries. In my country, water, water. Plenty of people have illegal hookup and they're paying for water. When you put meter by the house, it mash up. So you can't get a reading, you don't know what to charge them. What's in a mess? The Water and Sewage Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, we try in, and I say we because it's a collective. The body politic of this country, everybody that's saying where we're standing with I am not standing and not sitting and not squatting nowhere near this bitch and her minions or the people that have her there. I am standing in line with support for my country and in my country, 
we know worse off. And I dare say we are better off than in many, many other situations and other countries. In every situation and every aspect anywhere in the world, you will find bad nurses, bad doctors, bad teachers, bad parents. You will also find good nurses, good doctors, good parents. You will find bad policemen. You will find good policemen. You will find great comedians. You have to push it back. But you don't find we often. This is not for laughs. This is to simply say, I love my country. Trinidad and Tobago, 